Hello everyone, we have got a lot to talk about today. We've got the strong winds and then several rounds of snow in the forecast. We're going to start with the winds though. That's the more pressing issue in the short term. 50 mile per hour gust already in Great Falls, 60 in Cutbank. So strong winds. We've got some reports, reports already of blowing and drifting dust. That remains an issue through the night and even into early tomorrow. We still have our high wind warning in effect until noon tomorrow. Gusts continue as high as 60 miles per hour, and as you get closer to the Rocky Mountain front, as high as 90 miles per hour. So some very strong winds remain in our forecast. Through the night tonight, we actually see those increase just a touch, become a little bit more widespread with those uh, extra intense wind gusts. Not many changes into tomorrow morning, but as we head through the afternoon, we are going to start to see those winds die down at least a little bit, and the worst of it will be behind us by the time we get to tomorrow night. So we were going to see those winds peak tonight and then slowly die back down. As far as temperatures tonight, because those winds are going to be peaking, it's going to be very mild, 30s and 40s across our entire area. High temperatures tomorrow, mild, but there's kind of a caveat there. We've got a cold front that's going to be moving through the state, so most of us are going to see this high temperature a little bit earlier in the day, especially along the high line. Places like Helena, you guys are going to have a nice, comfortable day. That front's going to take a while to get to you. So through the night tonight, we're already starting to see a little bit of that snow along the Rocky Mountain front and the uh, divide. By tomorrow afternoon, that moisture starting to stream in. You can see that cold front already pushing into the state that's going to continue to push off to the south as we head through the evening hours. So we do have the potential for some snow showers as that cooler air moves in. Again, that arrives in Helena a little bit later. And then even as we head into Thursday, just a couple little uh, flurries here and there. Nothing all that significant, though, for our Thursday. But for Wednesday, could see a quick inch of snow. I'm going to trace to two inches for places like Cutbank, Great Falls, Lewistown. We do see some heavier snow in the mountains, especially west of Cutbank. Even the Rocky Mountain front, places like Browning, two to six inches of snow, up to eight inches of snow along Marias Pass and some blowing snow there. So already seeing some areas of heavy snow, but we've got much heavier snow as we head forward into the forecast. So we're just going to let future track animate out here with the GFS model to give you an idea of what we're looking at. Here's Friday at noon, and this is when that heavier snow is likely going to start setting up across the area. Friday into Friday night, it lingers into Saturday, and then it starts to exit as we head into Saturday night and Sunday. We do have some models that bring some more snow back in uh, Sunday into Monday. I'm not entirely sold on that yet, so we're going to focus mainly on Friday into Saturday here because this is looking like a pretty significant snowstorm. Widespread to snow totals of at least six inches. That's kind of on the low end for most of us. Much higher totals possible, a foot, foot and a half, some spots even potentially as much as two feet. Confidence on that not quite as high. Confidence is pretty high that most of us will be seeing temperatures falling below zero. So what do I mean by widespread uh, totals above six inches? Anywhere in purple, that's where we're expecting, I would say, at least six inches. Anywhere in pink, six inches is almost a, a sure thing. But the areas in the darker blue, you guys could receive up to half a foot of snow as well. We still have to work out the details here, but there is a wide portion of north central Montana. Almost all of north central Montana could get at least six inches of snow. Looking at the probability of a foot of snow, the map changes a little bit, but we still see most of our area definitely has a shot to get as much of a, a foot of snow. So the confidence is pretty high here that we're going to get heavy snow. The question is just how heavy is it going to be? And uh, right now, uh, National Weather Service is kind of right on board with the potential for heavy snow. They've got a winter storm watch for parts of the area already, kind of right where we expected that um, more, uh, where we have the highest confidence for that six inches of snow. Uh, that's where we've got that winter storm watch in effect. So stay with us as we head through the forecast here. We're going to continue to bring you updates, refine this forecast as we learn more, but be prepared for some heavy snow by Friday and Saturday. Thanks for watching.